All right, this is Jay Allen CV here, interviewing two of the hottest new artists in the VA area, Eli and Mike Santana. Appreciate you two coming down here, man, for this interview. So I want to start off, where are you both from, and what was your experience growing up? Well, I ain't really had no bad experiences growing up, though. I don't know chill as hell, though. What about you, Santana? I'm from Plainfield, New Jersey, born and raised. Came down here like, all my, uh, my middle school years, like before eighth grade and shit, that's my came down here. What do you think of the hip hop scene in Roanoke? Man, it's, man, it's, it's going crazy in my opinion. Like, it's a lot of good artists out here. There's a lot of people who ain't supporting them. And I feel like Roanoke got a support system and shit, and everybody being on the ground for us. That's just my opinion, though. I think it's all right. I think it ain't really. I just think people ain't got the right amount of like support behind them. Like they ain't got the bread. Cause some people don't. Some people don't know. It take money to make money in this music shit. But niggas don't think. But it is some talent. But people getting slept on. It's a lot of niggas getting slept on. Who do you mostly collaborate with? Yeah, I got featured with LV, Oso. That's like that's that's pretty much it. Other than like my niggas and shit. Oh yeah, your group SBE. What's that stand for? Slutty boy. Slutty boy. But SBE can mean anything for real. If you want, whatever, whatever you want that shit to mean, it can mean. For real. One, mm -hmm. Is there a story behind the group? I mean, it is. Uh, it all started in high school. We go by. It went by Slutty Boys Entertainment. That's how the shit started. We just basically we were just a group of niggas getting money, fucking bitches, getting money, fucking bitches. Then the shit, the whole shit flipped. Niggas started hating, we started getting fights and shit, but the shit dead, this is, now we just started taking it more serious. It's looking good for us now. All right, so um, what are you guys like main inspirations for lyrics you write? Main inspiration. I mean, my inspiration is like my family trying to get out to me. I just, I put my best in every song I do. Like, every song, I go crazy. I gotta put 110 in every song I do. That's what's up, that's what's up. I try to make, I try to make my, my lyrics as real as my life. I talk about fucking bitches, all that kind of shit. This what I do. This is not what I do, but you know what I'm saying? Like, this is a regular nigga lifestyle. I'm just trying to make it out just like anybody else. What do you think your listeners will get out of your music? Man, they get a lot. Like, they get some, we got some hype shit, yeah. some radio I just, shit. I just want niggas to turn we up got, on the shit. Got, we got like a whole lot of verses. Dangerous. Out of music. SB sounds on SoundCloud. Go listen to that shit. Everything, we got everything. Everything on there, man. We do it for y'all, not for us. All right, so in what ways has your your newest music changed from your old music? New music? Man, it got way better quality-wise. Lyric-wise, everything just got better, like. Shout the drop. Everything, you said? Yeah, everything upgraded, bro. Everything I upgraded. Before it was just, I wasn't really taking stuff serious before I was just doing it. Just my niggas was doing it. I don't know if they was taking it serious, but I was just, you know what I'm saying? I was just in it from the beginning. What's the most difficult things you guys had to endure coming up in the rap game? I didn't really have to endure it. Nothing like really crazy yet, I guess. But, I mean, it's going to come. It, it come with the rap shit, so I'm ready when it comes. So. Yeah. Right. I don't think I've really been through nothing. But probably the only thing that's really killing me is the wait, because you gotta wait for your time. You know what I'm saying? You gotta wait for your time and time. So, just gotta wait for mine. It's coming, though. It's coming. We're working towards it. All right. So, um, when should we expect mixtape to drop? Only way out. It's coming soon. soon. soon as you think. I, ain't, I ain't gonna say a date, because I ain't gonna get that soon shit out. It's coming, but it's coming sooner than you think. A lot of people have been asking us about that, too. It's coming soon. You got the single right now. Soon. We Double keep... cup. But we got another thing on there, we ain't gonna say nothing about. It's on there when it drops. We just been promoting right now, getting that shit ready. We got like four videos, you already dropped this year. So, uh, we just about to drop this shit, make that bitch go crazy. Spinrella, and all that, that piff, all them shit. All the sites, all the major sites, that bitch is gonna be on there. We gotta put the money into it though, but we got the bread for it, so it's coming. All right, true, true. Any last things guys wanna say? Yeah, no, yeah man, I got I got to worry, you know what I'm saying? They need to free my boy Coca, man. 
Oh yeah, free that's, Coca, man. That's my OTV member right free there, bro. That free my boy Coca. Free Coca out that jam. We need him out. Shout out to everybody that's doing that shit. Check Shout it out, out to everybody. SP sounds on SoundCloud. You already know. Shout out to everybody that's supporting us, that's staying behind us, that's helping us every day. That's Go hitting us up, showing love, showing support. Go I appreciate it. We appreciate it. Other than that, ain't shit. 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 Appreciate you guys coming down here, man. Jay Allen TV, Eli, Mike Santana. Only way out, mixtape dropping soon.